so yeah. Um, by the way, sorry about my hair. I haven't brushed my hair at all. And uh, I already checked in the second period. Also, sorry about the sun. But um, I already checked in my class, so it should be okay. But uh, I only have second because um, we took it to a transmission place. And um, what they had to do, they had to push it in order to test it. Well, uh, when they did that, they completely toasted the transmission. So I actually drove all the way home in second because it wouldn't shift in the first. And then it shifted in the first. And then it wouldn't shift back in the second. So that's why I can only drive it really around the neighborhood, only 20 miles an hour. So it won't go into limp mode. And if it goes into limp mode, I actually have to pull over, shut the truck off, and wait about a, like maybe five, 10 seconds and turn it back on again. So yeah, fun. But uh, hopefully here pretty soon that I can get my trans back. And I'm gonna start doing videos like this, the vlogs. So, um, and I may post them to YouTube. So hopefully I can do that. But uh, yeah. Um, Well, I'm just gonna be driving around for a little bit. That's really it, because I just I just really miss my truck. Let's see, is it gonna downshift? I think it's too early. This truck does sound nice, but I do notice like a whining noise it does shift so but yeah I don't know if y'all heard but when it was it was I was actually going like 20 miles an hour and then it wanted to shift back in the third it wanted to shift in the third but since third is toast it decided to go in the first so So basically, it will shift in the third, but it's like if you put any power on it, it won't work. Like, actually, the RPM is going up right now, and I'm not touching anything. So, yeah. So let's say if I'm going down a hill, then yeah, sure, I'll shift in the drive and leave it there. But if I'm going up a hill, I'm going to leave it in a second because it's going to slow it down. You never really truly know that you miss something until it's really gone. But luckily cars, unless if they're extremely totaled, they can be repaired. Yeah, this was a big thing. This is like like over a thousand dollars to get into trans. And actually like from O'Reilly's or something, it was almost two grand. And my dad found this website that um, um you basically have a five year warranty unlimited mileage so if you screw it up they will get you a replacement no matter what so So, all I've really been doing is just driving this truck around, trying to get like, the tires back up warm again, and all this stuff, so. There! They got a Tahoe, and they started it and left, and I see a bunch of steam. But if a car, you see there's steam coming out of the exhaust, then that's just because they started it and left, and it's cold. That's part of it. That's, if you put like, like, if you go outside and you go exhale outside, then yeah, you have steam. 
because your breath is warm and it's cold outside. I can't do it now. This actually kind of toasting here. I don't have any heater on or nothing. It's just my body. So I'm not really gonna do anything else. I'm just gonna go home now. Like, cause what time is it? It's 54, so it's almost 10 o'clock in the morning. I feel sorry for everybody who hears that. It's like a constant like little belt squeak, but it's actually my drive shaft. So that's not good. Huh, another. Um, so yeah. I'm just gonna do this for a few more minutes and then I'm gonna get off. Basically what I do is, the speed limit here is between 20 to 25, and um, what I do is, so it's not so annoying, uh, what I've been doing is, I'm actually coasting right now. Now it's in a second. Basically once it hits about 20 miles an hour, it actually downshifts in a second, so that's good. But uh, yeah. And also, um, I have... Uh, well, my dad has a motorcycle, it's a 2018 uh, CB650F, and it has about 1,300 miles on it already, and that was just two working back, and that's all he's basically done, but I've been starting to ride it, and I've been riding around the neighborhood, and um, it is hella fun, even though I only go, I think the fastest I've done is like 35, <laughs> But I was like in first gear and went, oh, like I like kind of gunned it a little bit. And when you go on a motorcycle, you basically um, put your knees against the tank and kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> Actually, uh, when I was riding it around, I almost fell off because um, I kind of took a corner a little bit too quick because I saw a stick. And um, I'm like, ah, oh, stick! And I, I kind of was going a little bit too fast. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go this way. But I'm going to tell my dad, like, whenever we get the new trans, I'm the first one to drive. This is my truck. Can you ask just in a second, please? Oh, I can't believe I do it for you. There you go. I keep hearing like a clink, like a clunk noise. Like. So I was doing like 15 miles an hour and now it engaged second. But third is, ooh. Interesting. Mm, never mind, nothing interesting. I saw some boxes or shit, and I'm like, ooh, cool. But no, nothing interesting. Damn it, I have no, I have low fuel. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, guys, well, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to post this to YouTube. And, um. So I'm gonna go ahead and go home and end the video. So um, so if you are seeing this on YouTube, then hi guys. Let's see, can you get the in a second? I mean first.
said that I was calling, that's fine. Oi, dumbass. Stop. did was I had some old gas from my mower and um, actually I'm gonna loop around come back down this way and then go down the street over there and just call it down and go home because I gotta go home and go get some shit done so <coughs> oh, excuse me I'm sorry I didn't mean to say that word I just I thought I was gonna post this to Instagram but I guess not so yeah um if you are seeing this on YouTube and you are curious of what my Instagram is, look for Andy the Cute Furry, all one word, all lowercase. Just to let you guys know. So yeah guys, well, um, I just wanted to say, hey, I almost went to stop sign, stop, and now the, on this one, it's actually like way behind the curb, so what you gotta do is you gotta stop in line, and then you do your approach, that's what I'm doing right now. So yeah, I'm just gonna go back down that way and call it done, because I gotta go home. I have no heater on, no radio. Well, I have that, but the heater is annoying as f It's so annoying. Looks like somebody's late for school. I don't know. I don't know. But, um... Interesting. I know that car. That's the one that goes to my, the, not my, my brother's school. Interesting. Cool. Well, um, but yeah, guys, uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna go home and get a few. Honestly, if I could, I would actually, like, take my dad's motorcycle and go off for a ride because he would let me, but if he's not home, I don't do... I go in my truck and just, just drive it around, just to drive it around, basically. So yeah, guys. Well, um, I'm gonna go ahead and head home. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is the end of the video. So, um, yeah, guys. So uh, I guess thanks for watching. Sorry that this video was a little bit long and I really didn't do anything except drive my truck. That's all I did. Please don't turn on the mode. Please don't go into the mode. Please don't go into the I'm doing 23 miles an hour in second gear. And the RPM is like uh, a little bit over 1500. So yeah, now it's in drive, but technically it's in neutral, so. So yeah guys, well when I get the new trans and I'll do a video of that so if anything happens and my parents also have video footage of if something happens. So um so yeah guys, well actually no, I'm just gonna go home and do it. Um and back here. And it's dead. 
No, this truck, one time I revved it, and it almost killed itself, so. One thing is, if you made this far in the video, just don't come to my house and go stalk me and like try to kidnap me or kill me or something. Please don't. Just I, I, I want to live a long, happy life. Okay, I don't care if I get a hot dog. I want to live a happy life. I don't want to be kidnapped, especially nowadays that people are basically pretending to be anything. And then, yeah, but but yeah, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry that it's really like quiet. I know my range is low. Calm down, I'm going home. My truck is like, your range is low. It's like, yeah, no shit. Okay, guys, well, huh? Well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, um, whenever I get the new transmission, I can make a, uh, a video of that. Hopefully. It's making metal noises again. Parking brake. I bought the parking brake anyways. It's that little, uh, if y'all don't know, it's either the little pedal next to your brake pedal, a little button on the center console, a little button next to the light switch if you're gonna have an F-150 or something like that. Um, if not, if you have a normal car that with an automatic on the center console, it's that little lever on the side. You go up, you pull it up. And on some vehicles, you have the parking brake that's on the floor. Some of them, you just push it down and you release it with a lever like this one. But like my mom's minivan, you push it and it's on and you push it and it's off. So, yeah. Hopefully I've learned. Because I've stressed a lot about people not using their parking brake. Like, if you don't use a parking brake, then your the parking pin could fail in your transmission. Or if you have a manual, you could accidentally leave it in neutral. Or first fails on your downhill or something. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, you need to use a parking brake because it will help. And also, when you change gears, stop completely and then shift. I see way too many people that, like, if they're in a hurry, then, like, kind of, yeah, I understand. But, like, come on. Be nice to your vehicles. It's like back in the day when everybody was riding horses around, like, everybody took care of their horse. At least, I hope so. And, yeah, horses were like your best friend. Nothing really different about cars, except a lot of people think cars are just from point A to point B. Which, yeah, that is the, the mentality. But if you really, truly love your car, you'll think of it like you'll think of your car as a friend. Like my truck, named Kathy. That's my best friend, Kathy. So, and also Kathy the Chevy has a good ring to it. So yeah. Um. So yeah, guys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end this video. I'm gonna go ahead and be putting my shades back on on the front and on the sides so my mom thinks I didn't go anywhere but she's probably gonna see my YouTube channel and figure out that I left a house without saying anything but I will get some of my shit done and yeah so yeah guys well uh I hope to see you guys soon and hopefully next time I see you guys it's with a working transmission so yeah bye